Welcome everyone, today we have a special guide on Lossack with engravings. As you can see behind me, I have managed to get 3 of my engravings level 15, and this actually didn't cost me a lot of gold. And this has greatly increased my damage potential. I was dealing about 4 million damage with my highest crit, now I can deal about 7 million damage with my highest crit after getting my 3 engravings. So 1 class engraving and also 2 skill engraving that increase damage. So in this video, I have written some notes to help you guys to find the cheapest method to get your engravings to maybe level 3 like me, to 3 of them or even 2 of them very quickly. And this is super cheap, because we have a sneaky trick and also method to do this. So I'll outline the examples using my Berserkers account, and also you can use similar to your class as well. We'll talk about how to get 9 nodes and also 9 nodes, and also we'll talk about what to look for. So there's a lot of small details I want to share with you guys, because I did spend a few hours doing this myself, now I realize you can save so much gold. Sometimes just take one to two hundred gold, and sometimes five hundred, and maybe a good one is like two thousand. We'll talk about the budget, but this will save you so much gold, and this will give you a massive damage boost. And the best thing is, if you do this correctly, notice I'm using the blue items, and they're tier three as well. I'm using the blue ones, the purple ones. I'm buying the budget ones, and also the biggest secret is in the ability stone. So let's come over to our notes. If you want the notes, those are available in the Google Docs below in the video. So what I want to do this time is, I want to give you guys a quick summary of what this method is. So what we're doing is, the biggest trick and the biggest saving in this method is that we're going to use tier 2 ability storms. And this will be a legendary great ability storm. So notice over here I'm using a tier 2 ability storm. You can easily facet this one, so basically come to the GM NPC. You can easily facet those ones to a 12 knot. So notice I have 5 plus 7, which is a 12 knot. So this is a bigger secret, and this will save you tens and thousands of gold because we're using a tier 2 ability storm. And yes guys, you do lose some HP, I think you lose a few thousand HP for doing this, but this will save you so much gold and doubles and triples your damage. So which is really important, right? So what we're aiming for for those knots is, I'm aiming to facet this one to at least plus 12 knots. And what I can do is, I'll show you guys my live method of doing this, which percentage to use, and which one to go for in this video as well. So I'll show you guys live how I do this. After getting to 12 knots, what we'll do is, we'll consider investing in one of the other ability that is more expensive on the market for accessories. So here I have invested into my ability over here. I'll show you guys over here. I have invested into Master Tenacity, and I'll tell you guys why and also which ability you should invest in and the reason behind it. It is optional if you want to do this, you can still stay on the purple books of your class books, and those actually comes free with tier 3. Once you get to tier 3, you get 20 purple books for free, and this is one of the biggest savings we'll have as well. So we have made a video about this, don't buy those class engraving books, because you actually get 20 selected ones for free. And if you guys are not sure how to get those class engraving books for free, I'll have the guide, guide attached over here, we have a video on this. So it is optional whether you want to invest in the second ability, because if you get no plus 9 plus 9 will actually 3 points overboard. But if you do get lucky, as I will explain, if you do get lucky with your knots and you don't need that many, notice I'm actually one knot over, right? So if you do get lucky with your plus 12, maybe if you get to plus 14, you can save on not investing in the second purple ability, which I'll explain more as well. And finally, one of the biggest savings is how to select and also filter accessories with certain combination of class engravings. So we will be avoiding the most expensive combination. We'll go for the cheapest combination of class engraving plus the cheaper skill, and also the expensive skill engraving plus the cheaper skill. So those are my two examples. I'll explain this more in the details after we get to this stage, and this is one of the other amazing savings and also tricks we have. Because if you actually go for the class engraving plus the most expensive skill, you're looking at double or triple your price in getting accessories. And that's how I got my accessories about 100 to 200 or 500 gold, instead of spending 5,000 or 10,000 gold. Now to start this method, it is recommended that you get your 20 class engraving books that comes for free. The first one will come after you clear the first boss rush in tier 3 you get 10 books for that way. The second one will come after you reach item level 1340, and this will take you 1 to 3 days after getting to tier 3. So we have a guide about this, how to get those, and even more books this way. So make sure you get those, so you start off yourself with your class ability to plus 9 first. You can go double plus 9 as well. But of course, you can invest in buying those purple books on the market as well for one of the abilities. I'll explain what we're trying to buy very soon. So over here, using my Berserkers example, my class engraving will be Mayhem, and there is a number of skills that I can increase 
damage on my character and the top you know top fuse are gonna be those so there's you know master tenacity this raid captain this grudge those are pretty top curse door is not bad blunt weapon is not bad but i need higher crits so what i have selected is those are probably the ones i want to go for and grudge is definitely the best one for damage usually but it is too costly I decide to skip grudge until I get to item level 1370. So I'll be looking for Master Tenacity and also Red Captain. For me, Master Tenacity is the second best skill after grudge. So it is the second best engraving, and this is the one I actually want to invest in buying 20 of those purple books. So this is a little costly if you do invest in it, but if you don't, it's it's doable as well. So let me show you guys over here. It's also because <laughs> it's also because the the Berserkers are so popular on my server, right? So those books, I bought those for about 400, 380 a book back then. So this is going to be one of the highest investments you'll be looking into. But it is worth it if you have the spare gold, because these books will stay with you, right? Unless you go for a grudge. So this is for my class. It is important for you to recognize the class engraving that is for your class that is the second best. I'm going for the second best investment right now. And after getting about 20 of those books, which still optional, because very soon you will see if you get high notes, you don't need to buy those books. You can stay on the blue ones. So you can stay on the blue ones. So once you get those, what we want to see is what is the most costly combination to purchase in the auction house with your class engraving. And this is quite important. So we're planning ahead. So let's go to accessories. We won't check ability stone because we know what ability stone we'll get. And we'll be getting a tier two, which is very cheap. We'll go to tier three. We start filtering. So you want to select your class engraving. And uh, basically my class engraving will be mayhem, right? And I know I can go for mayhem and grudge, of course, but it is a little costly and I don't like the damage reduction. I'll just show you guys over here. So notice mayhem is like, you know, 5,000 for this one. This one's like, it's not great. It's only one mayhem and plus two grudge. It is okay. And this one's like, you know, this is like 15,000, right? So this one's quite costly. What I also want to show you guys is the second best one for my class will be mayhem plus master tenacity. This one is even more costly. So this is by far the most costly combination that is available for my class. And this is why I actually buy the purple books instead of buying the item that gives me mayhem and also master tenacity. So we're going to get the most costly combo that is purchasable in the auction house. We're not going to purchase that. We're going to avoid that. We're going to try to get purple books for that. So this way we have basically over here, you can see we have plus nine skill knots for that one. So I don't have to buy any of those expensive items. Now that we have nine of the class knots and also nine of the most expensive engraving, I'm not going for grudge again because I'm dying too much as well. So we'll be looking for a cheap tier two ability stone. So remember guys, for my example, I'm using those three. I have selected the three skill I want to use. It is very important that you list those out and decide which three you want to go. We probably won't get to four at this stage before, you know, 1370 because, you know, we need the higher tier items, right? So at the moment, just select three of your class and it's important you highlight those. So now we're going to get ability stones for master tenacity and Osiris captain. You do the similar method for your class. So let's go to ability stone for this one. Notice that if I select basically, and I, let me select, I'll show you guys how much it costs with tier three. So if I select the tier three ones, they're so costly and I actually bought one to try. So they're costing 1,500 gold or 500 gold to bid. The one gold is probably going to get bitten. So those ones are so costly. And also they only goes up to plus eight. They don't, they don't go to plus nine, like the golden legendary ones we can get with tier two. So the biggest secret is actually find one that is tier two. So you start buying those outright for, you know, 1,500. If you consider buying those for my class, they only cost 400. And notice that those goes to plus nine. Yes, you'll lose some HP, but the loss in HP is not that significant because you get a massive saving, you get a boost in damage. And just to show you guys over here, I did buy one of the purple stones for 1,500. I tried to facet it. They only have, you know, eight of those slots and it's not easy to facet. You can see that I'm failing multiple times on this one. I was pretty unlucky, but still, you do want to get the golden one. So let me show you guys my golden one, how to facet that. Now, one thing about faceting those ability stones is that you got to be aware there's three stages. The first stage, I'll go, be going for 75% also 65% on the one I want to prioritize, which would be Red Captain. And then I go for 55 and also 45% on the one I want to go secondary and 35 and 25 on the bottom one. But as you get to the middle stage, I'll be shifting probabilities from 
55 and also 45 for the one on the prioritize and then 35 and you know 45 on the secondary 35 25 on the bottom so i select the percentage then i select the ones and finally on the last part i'll be going for you know 35 and 45 on the one on the prioritize 35 percent or even 25 percent on the top one and 25 percent on the bottom one so Doing it this way, you have to do this in three phases. Depending on the probability, you'll be choosing differently which one to facet. So let me try to explain a little bit what I do over here. So over here, you can see a recording of me faceting the golden tier two ones. So I'm looking at master tenacity and also I'm comparing the other one. So in this recording, I actually recorded myself in it as I was doing it. So you can see master tenacity and also raid captain. Now, before you facet those, if you do have items that is already available, <coughs> that it's much easier for you to tell which one you want to go first. So what I mean by that is notice that currently my engraving, my my basic engraving is plus nine plus nine. So what I want to do is I want to get as much rate captain as I can. So I'll be prioritizing on rate captain, the one that is not plus nine over here. So I'll be prioritizing on that one. But of course, you, I can prioritize on master tenacity for a cheaper one too, but I try to balance them. So how to get a plus 12 is you want to use the 75%, the 60% on the one you want to prioritize. So let me show you guys over here. I'll be going for a rig captain and basically you're hoping this works. If it doesn't work because the stones are really cheap, you can just buy one more. Also, let me let me go back a little bit. So if it doesn't work, you can buy another stone and do the same thing. So about 75 and 65, I'll go for the one I want to prioritize. When it's 55, I will go for the second one I still want to go for. So notice on 55, I tried to go master tenacity and I failed. And this takes me to 65. Each time it's 65 or 75, I'll go for the rig captain. Each time it's 55 or 45, I'll try our master tenacity. But if it gets to 35 or 25, I'll go to the red ones. So as you can see, 55, 65 will go bottom, 55 will go top, 45, uh, I could stay on this, I could go for this. So I was like, okay, I'll try this. I mean, it's 35, I'll try for the bottom one. Notice when 35, try for the bottom one, 45, I went for this, and 35, I always go for the bottom one, 25, I go for the bottom one. So basically for 35 and 25, you want to go for the red one. For 45, 55, you want to go to the second ability. And then 55, 65, and 75 for now, with a percentage success, you go for the one you want to prioritize. So 35, I I think I went for that. I probably shouldn't have won that. So 25, so notice that I'm trying to balance it. I'm stuck between 25 and 35 now. So 25, always go bottom. Don't use the top one. So 35, you can go for the bottom again. I'm trying to get lucky. So now what I'm really focusing on is to get rig captain as high as I can. It's 35, I could go for bottom, but notice it's almost done. So I'm still testing. Once the rate gets lower, notice that at the start I'm going for 65 and 75, and then it's 55 and 45. By this time it's 45 and also 35%. I'm going for the while on the prioritize because we're almost out of these dots. I know it's a little hard to explain. Maybe I make a better video. So there is an interval that you start to consider when to go for which one. And 25 always go for the bottom, of course. 35 at this moment is actually pretty decent rate because <clears throat> at this moment, the 35, I, I can go for that, but that might give me other rates. And lastly, I got 55. So the last few wasn't good because I was pretty happy on what I got. So just to give you guys a quick rundown. For the first few, you prioritize you want to, the one you want to go for for 75 and 65. And then for 55 and 45, go for the second one, the success rate. And then if you got 35 on 25, go for the bottom one. But as you progress into the middle phase, go for the 55 and 45% on the one you want to prioritize on. And then for 35 and you know 45, go for the secondary one. And still 35 and 25, you can go for the bottom one. At the last moment, it's likely you'll be getting to about 45 and 35 stage. So 45, go for the prioritized one. For 35, go for the secondary one. And 25, go for the one you want to you know, fail. So basically, we're juggling probabilities as we, as we go. If you guys do want a detailed guide, I will make Excel and I'll make a calculation for you guys on this one. I do think this takes a bit of randomness, takes a bit of used to. But if you do this correctly, likely you can get at least 12 knots. So over here, even with my fail on the final part, I still got 12 knots. You also get a bit of bonus vitality for doing at least 12 success. 
So now that we have gotten the 12 ability not on the tier 2 ability stone, which by far will take you some time, but because the tier 2 ability stones are so cheap, if you fail with one, you can do that again. So I didn't succeed with this one the first time. The first time I got like 11. The second time I tried, I got 12 knots in total. So this might take you a few goals, but because those tier 2 stones are much cheaper and they give up to plus 9, you have a greater chance to get those 12 knots. So I'm aiming for 12 knots. If you want to go bigger saving, you can aim for 14 knots because if you go for 14 knots you don't even have to buy the second ability book because i'm still plus one over here i'm one extra right so at this moment what you have prepared is you have nine class ability knots nine of the most expensive other than grudge the engravings for the skill and you also have your ability storms the ability storms will have the two ability you want to go for it does not have your class ability so for me it's raid captain and also master tenacity and of course, if you get anything beyond 12 knots, it is great. After that, I'll show you guys how we filter out for the accessories. So first, we know what is the most expensive class engraving in my class, which is Master Tenacity. So notice how I showed you guys earlier, I was filtering those. So let's go to Auction House, let's go to Accessories. And what you want to do is, you want to select your class ability, and you select the other two. So the first one I checked was recap was master tenacity, right? So this one is so expensive because people it's like the almost the second best or the best for my class. This one's so expensive. We're gonna avoid buying the most expensive one. We're gonna alternate between mayhem and also raid captain. So you buy the class engraving plus the cheapest one. So we're gonna go for mayhem and raid captain. Notice this is like fifty four, you know, five hundred gold. This is much cheaper than the one we're getting. So. The two accessories we'll be looking for will be the one that is cheaper. And over here, I'll be going for my class engraving plus the cheaper skill engraving. And then I'll go for the expensive engraving plus the cheaper skill engraving. Notice we're avoiding the combination of class engraving plus the expensive skill engraving, which is for me is Mayhem and also Master Tenacity. So I'll go Ma Mayhem and also Red Captain, and then I go with Master's Tenacity plus Red Captain. So I avoid the most costly combination this way we get the cheapest runs. So notice those are very cheap, right? So notice that those are selling for like, you know, 20 gold, this is selling for 100 gold, and those you can pick. This is the one, this is the cheapest one you can get. Notice how here we have one class engraving and two skill engraving. If you find accessories with skill engraving, you want to go for the other two for 2-2. Two, two. So I will select 2-2 two, two over here, and I'll search for those, and they're not expensive. They're, they're not 200 gold. And this is how you can save a lot. And basically, you'll be saving more once you select this correctly. And for me, the combination is always go for the cheaper one with class engraving, expensive one with a cheaper engraving. And the stats I'm looking for on my accessories will be Mayhem plus Red Captain, and also Red Captain plus Master Tenacity. Now, the final part of the, the guide it will take you some time to juggle. You can see this review. This video replay took, took me like half an hour to juggle. So basically what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the prices of items and I'm switching my item with those. It will take you some mathematic calculations and depending on what item you get, you will slowly find those. And I do recommend take a little bit of time because some of those like this ring over here, although it's great with Mayhem and Red Captain, it costs like 8,000 gold, <laughs> and they, which is quite expensive. You want to take a little time and you start juggling it. So basically, you want to slowly notice how my my things are slowly getting there and slowly getting there. And the, one of the funny things I want to share with you guys is, and notice finally, after about 20 or 30 minutes of juggling, I was one shot and I have one too many. At this moment, I can't actually find a tier 3 accessory for this. So what I did was I actually bought a tier 2 accessory as a replacement. So looking at the tier 2 accessories, those are very cheap. You do have to pay faience, but they're not very high. So I actually bought the tier 2 accessory as a replacement. And back then, once I got the tier 2 accessory in, I was okay for this. But then I start to bid for a cheaper one, which is a tier 3. So this took me another day to wait for this to be bidded and successfully buy this. So this ring cost me about 1 to 200 gold. The tier 2 one cost me 9 gold. So finally, I will slowly replace my accessories into the tier 3 range. Now the final part will take you some juggling. So I want to set you guys for the cheapest ways to get the most expensive engraving skills and also knots. And the final part might take you, you know, one to two days in searching. It took me one to five days searching for those. So every three hours when I play the game, I'll check the auction house for two filterings. So what I'm checking in the auction house is always my 
those two. Those two are the ones I can afford to not have my class engraving, and I'll be checking the ones with my class engraving. I'll always avoid the one with the expensive one. So I'll always be checking for those two filterings over the days. And it took me about one to five days to get everything together. So what I realized, and if you do this properly, depending on the choice of engraving skills and the popularity of your character, it might cost anywhere from 100 to 2000 gold for a good purple accessory. It might cost anywhere from 100 to 1000 gold for a decent blue accessory. So the blue and also purple accessories I got over here. So if I show you guys over here, so the purple ones, they cost me one to 2000 gold and sometimes 500 gold. And sometimes you can farm those with the chaos dungeons. That's why guys, once you get to gear level 1340, you can also farm those from the chaos dungeons because they will still drop even if you're doing your know, runs without any entries. So that's a really good one. So basically the blue ones cost me anywhere from 100 to 1000 gold. And I'm using this as a transition until I get better purple ones. Now, one thing to highlight before we finish is that the cost of buying items with fans, because if we look over here, I'll show you guys one thing quickly. So if you look over here and buy any of the tier three items, they will cost fans and this will cost nine fans, even though the price is 100 and the buyout is 300. Now each fail in my server is worth about 60 gold. And with nine of those, that's about, you know, 540 gold of value in terms of the nine fails you'll be spending to buy. So just be aware of this, but don't think too much about it because you do get about 200 fails for free each month and, you know, from the logins. So what I mean by that is if we come over to the logins, you can see that you do get, you know, 50, 50 and 100 fails each month. So just one thing to be aware, you are using something that is of value over here because of this. And one of the best things of having tradable items, I can still resell my items once I get upgrade. Even the blue ones I can resell for 500 to 1000 gold. Now, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. So the biggest saving is in terms of getting ability storms, which are tier two, and then avoiding the most expensive ability on your character or your class, and then go for the combination that is the cheaper ones, which is the cheaper engraving and also the class engraving. So this way you can avoid a majority of the cost. And then you can have, you know, at least two of the golden ones or at least three of the golden ones doing this way and this actually saves me tons of gold and massively boosts my damage now if you guys haven't subscribed to this youtube channel make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides a lot of tips as i discover them and i love the game so i want to share as much as i can with you guys and let's have a great time in lost ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it